A DRDO official has said in an interview that the DRDO's long range anti ship missile has a speed of Mach 10, which is higher than the Mach 8 reported previously in the media. The Philippines will finalize the deal for Akash missiles in the next few months, and the order will surpass the Armenian 6,000 crore rupees contract in value. The Philippine Army has inducted the latest Cavro helmets by India's MKU Limited. The Indian Air Force has placed limited orders for 27 tar tactical advanced strange augmentation kit for trials. General Atomics has successfully deployed and tested anti-submarine sensors using newly designed sonar buoy dispensing system pods from Sea Guardian drones, that enables it to perform end-to-end -end persistent anti-submarine warfare operations. The RDO's Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory is developing an advanced wearable body-controlled flight system, that promises to blend human biomechanics with advanced avionics. The chairman of Bharat Forge has said, that there is no rational basis to import the South Korean K-9 Vajra, when we have all the building blocks to build an indigenous self-propelled howitzer here in India. The Indian Army's much-anticipated induction of the 118 Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank has hit a significant delay, as deliveries has now been postponed to early 2029. India is looking to emulate Israel's approach with its customized F-35I variant, so that India can adapt the F-35 platform to align with its unique security requirements while maintaining operational independence and establish a degree of self-reliance. India might push for access to the avionics architecture of F-35 to integrate indigenous missiles, the RDO developed electronic warfare suites and the BNET software-defined radio for secure communications, that would ensure interoperability with India's existing fleet of Su-30 Rafale and Tejas aircraft. India will also seek partial source code access like Israel, to modify the software for its needs, and also negotiate to establish an F-35 maintenance repair and overhaul facility in India, and co-production of certain components. India could isolate F-35 operations geographically or operationally from S-400 deployments, such as assigning them to western or southern sectors away from S-400 coverage in the northern sector. After clearing the F-35A, the Trump administration is now preparing to lift long-standing roadblocks to enable the sale of advanced American underwater sensor technology for India's Project 77 nuclear-powered attack submarines program, that includes advanced sensor package and warfare systems, BQQ-10 sonar suite, that offers 360-degree detection of submarines surface ships and torpedoes at extended ranges, photonics masts with high-resolution cameras and infrared sensors, electronic support measures to detect and classify enemy radar and communications for intelligence and counter-stealth operations, and integrated undersea warfare systems. Integrating the newly offered Russian product 177S engine on the 84 Super Shukhoi program along with the indigenous V Rupaksha radar, will transform the jets into 4.5 generation beasts with 5th generation punch. With a thrust of 142 kN and stealth treated thrust vector control nozzles, the product 177S not only completely outmuscles the existing 123 kN AL31 FP engines on the Su-30, but it also aligns with India's long-term goal of a powerful engine for the AMCA Mark II. Industry sources have said, that Russia appears to be holding back flight testing of the product 177S engine until an international buyer steps up, as Western sanctions since 2022 have squeezed Russia's defense budget. Today's Top 3 Comments